to the top of Ingleborough. We're going the opposite way round to everybody else. And if I just spin round. One down, two to go. Oh, here we go, nearly at the top of the second hill. One inside. What a view that is. That's where we've come from over there. There's the rest of the gang. Beat me too, bit. Side done. <laughs> oh, God, can't wait for that first pint. Just passing now, about thirteen and a half miles, about six odd hours in. We are. We got. It's a famous Riverhead Viaduct, and we've got that hill all the way in the distance there, Penny Gant, to go. <laughs> Nearly at the top. <sighs> this last one's been an hard slog. It's red hot. It's hard on the legs, and it's hard on the brain. Come up all them steps. It's the last few steps at the top. There's about three or four that made it before us. I'm with a group of five. And I think there's about eight behind us. And a couple of drops out. So we're nearly there now. One last push. Coming up to about 24 miles. There it is. Just starting to come into view. Set off this morning. About eight o'clock. We done Ingleborough first, then we're inside, and now we're nearly at the top of the last hill, and again. made it 24 miles now we've just got a couple of miles down and then we're going to the pub that's it three peaks smashed well, about ten and a half hours now, so the village is uh, just down there. We're about 20 minutes, half an hour, so we're going to be about 11 hours. Can't say it's been easy. Definitely not. 
just coming off of uh, Wernside, which is uh, not Wernside, sorry, Penny Gent, which is just back there. And now we're heading into the uh, Horton in Ribblesdale for a well deserved pint or two. Massive thanks to everyone for your sponsorship. On with the pub. And if anyone asks me, no, I'm not doing it again. Cheers.